Welcome back everyone. So we finally get to find out what this lunar event is all about. We will be having a look shortly, but also today we found out what that bundle is all about too. Turns out it's some kind of new Viking bundle. Random I know, but uh, yeah, I will cover that in full because there's quite a lot to this one. So let's jump straight into the lunar event. So the event is now live until the 17th of February, but before we start, we've got a brand new free DLC that gives us a brand new cannon, shotgun and warrior outfit to enjoy the event with. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the outfit. It looks really nice and I'm very pleased with that. We'll get to the shotgun in a moment. Uh, if you don't see the prompt to purchase it in the home screen, you can just go into the Dying Light store, where incidentally you'll also find the Viking bundle that I told you about a moment ago. Now the Ox Warrior outfit will be found under Crane's DLC outfits and uh, yeah, a quick change into those and also while you're in your stash you can uh, get yourself a double barrel shotgun or a semi-automatic shotgun in order to craft the Ox Cannon. Now here's a great close-up I managed to get of the Ox Warrior suit uh, just by swinging the axe by my head and posing there for a moment. You can see all the beautiful details there, it's amazing. Uh, anyway, on with the quest. Keeping Nyan at bay is the global goal and uh, we'll get three king mods for taking part in that one. And the uh, personal challenge is celebrating with a bang and basically you've just got to kill 50 zombies but you can only kill them using trap bombs and fireworks. And the reward for this one is a Leaping Tiger Dao, which is actually a gold weapon. Now the Quartermaster will be able to provide you with exploding trap bombs, shrapnel bombs and fireworks on a daily basis, but they don't last very long, so you can actually craft them yourself if you have the components and the blueprints. Uh, this is the shotgun. It does look very nice. Uh, I, I love all of the engraving on it and the, uh, the wood effects. The, uh, the reloading animation is great. And if you notice there, it does actually set them on fire. So we have finally got some kind of incendiary shotgun. Although it's not quite as good as the uh, Left 4 Dead crossover one, I'm afraid. And the shotgun will not contribute to your community event kills that can only be achieved by using the trap bombs and fireworks. Uh, that is great fun in itself though, I love using the exploding trap bomb, it sends them flying into the sky. Uh, the shrapnel one's not quite so impressive, nor is the toxic one. Uh, this is a shrapnel one, as you can see it kind of shreds them, knocks them over a little bit, but doesn't actually kill them very easily. Uh, but then if you use the exploding one, it's much, much more impressive. Uh, so impressive in fact that, uh, yeah, I was a little bit too close there, but it gave me an opportunity to have another lovely look at that outfit. <laughs> Whilst I recovered there. So yeah, if you've got enough components to continually keep recrafting the exploding trap bombs, then uh, you can have a, a lot of fun just standing back and watching the carnage take place. And it doesn't take long at all really for you to, uh, to get to 50 kills. And once you've achieved that target, you'll get a message flash up on the screen telling you that you've been successful and that your reward will be waiting in your stash, which isn't actually true. It, uh, it just goes straight into your inventory there. Uh, you can see it there, Leaping Tiger Dao. It's a gold weapon and it's got space for three mods. Uh, I'm going to wait for my king mods for that one. Uh, there you go. It's kind of a katana, but a much shorter version. I'm sure there's a name for that kind of sword. Uh, I don't have it to hand. Uh, it's quite pretty though, nice wooden handle. And uh, yeah, if you look closely, there is some kind of engraving on the hilt there and at the base of the blade. But no blade is complete without a good smattering of blood all over it. Now the weapon is pretty powerful, uh, you know, if you're, a, if you're a beginner then this weapon is going to be impressive enough for yourselves. Uh, obviously it's nowhere near as powerful as a weapon can be, however, if you use a good blueprint like the Angel Sword, and uh, as I said, once I've got my three King Mods at the end of this event and added those, this weapon will be formidable. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look quite so pretty with all that gubbins on it, but uh, it makes it so much more powerful instantly with this blueprint and uh, yeah once I've filled the uh, the mod slots as well then uh, it should be really really good and don't forget that we'll only get those three king mods if we meet the global target so once you've done the community event if you could stay on and contribute to that target that will ensure that we're all going to get those three king mods at the end of the event so have fun guys and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one cheers